All right, my friends, for one last time, welcome to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today, we're going to take a look at the Soviet T 34E STZ. Now, the T 34 was a Soviet medium tank introduced in 1940. It was armed with a 76.2 millimeter gun. Its heavily sloped armor was difficult to penetrate by contemporary anti-tank weapons of the time. The T-34 was the mainstay of the Soviet armed forces throughout World War II. The T-34 Model 1940 was the initial production variant of the T-34 and the first of the T-3476 series. In one of our previous War Thunder Soviet Tech Tree videos, we took a look at the T-34 model 1940. If you would like a little more history on the initial design and production of the T-34, please take a look at the T-34 1940 video. The early T-34 model 1940 saw a small production run of about 400 units and was then improved upon with a better gun and layout. The initial T-34 model 1940 was equipped with the 76.2 mm L-11 gun, even though the superior F-34 gun was ready for production. Marshal Gagori Kulik's high-handed interference with tank production made the revelant bureaucrats too fearful of being arrested to approve the better gun. The main goal of the design and production of the improved T-34 model 1941 was to get rid of the teething problems of the model 1940 and improve manufacturability. Initially, only minor modifications were implemented, but Vasily Gabin and the director of the Kharkov locomotive factory the center of T-34 production conspired to produce T-34s with the 76 mm F-34 gun anyway, and they began to install the F-34 on the new T-34 tanks. The T-34 model 1941 retained its cramped two-man turret, but it was fitted with thicker, better quality armor and command tanks received better radio equipment but lost their periscope. It kept the initial engine, but the fuel injection system was improved along with a better gearbox and air filters. The major change was the better 76 mm F-34 gun. The F-34 gun was a little longer than the L-11 and had better performance. With these upgrades, the vehicles gained two tons of weight. The new T-34 model 1941 tanks were issued mainly to company and platoon commanders and were immensely popular with their crews. Letters from tank units praising the new F-34 gun's performance reached Stalin's State Defense Committee which then officially authorized it for production. Mass production of the T-34 model 1941 started in early 1941 with a production run of 3,111 produced before switching to the model 1942. The T-34 model 1941 was the first T-34 to massively see combat. It was deployed on the Eastern Front to counter the advance of German armor and its performance was hailed by Soviet troops. Initially, the Wehrmacht found it very difficult to destroy T-34s in combat as the standard anti-tank weaponry of the time proved ineffective against its heavily sloped armor. German anti-tank gunners began aiming at the tracks or vulnerable areas on the turret ring and gun mantlet rather than the bow or turret armor. The Germans were forced to deploy 105 millimeter field guns and 88 millimeter anti-aircraft guns 
and a direct fire roll to stop the T-34s. They also promptly began improving their current tank designs to combat the T-34. In response, many T-34 variants, such as the T-34E STZ, had additional armor plates welded on the front in an attempt to improve the tank's protection. The T-34E STZ's frontal hull protection was significantly increased over the original T-34-1941 variant. This modification was primarily performed in the STZ factory in Stalingrad in January 1942. So, the T-34E STZ is basically an up-armored modification of the T-34 Model 1941. Now, in War Thunder Arcade, the T-34E STZ is a Soviet Rank II medium tank with a battle rating of 4.0. It has a 954 horsepower engine propelling the 29.5 ton vehicle to a top speed of 39 miles per hour. Its main armament is a 76 mm F-34 cannon with a maximum ammo load of 77 rounds. Its secondary armament is a coaxial mounted 7.62 mm DT machine gun. Now I have it assigned to an expert crew with a crew level of 150 which gives me a reload of 7.3 seconds. So what do I think of the Soviet T-34E STZ here in War Thunder Arcade? Well, to tell you the truth, I couldn't really tell that much difference between this up-armored version and the other versions of the T-34. I got killed just as many times, uh, especially because the turret didn't receive any armor upgrade and you have those weak spots on your turret cheeks and right below your gun. Now for my service record in the T-34 STZ. I had 517 battles with 270 victories which gave me a win percentage of 52%. I died 359 times but I killed 2,144 enemy players, which gave me a kill to death ratio of 5.97, which is really close to six to one. Now for this last video, I tried to pick out an exciting game. I really hope that you will enjoy it. Here we go. Alrighty. We picked up Sinai. This is one of my favorite maps. We are on the southern side with three cap points. So you know I'm going to go and overwatch the A cap point. Have about 10 seconds before we spawn in. All right, here we go. I think that extra weight on this vehicle makes it start off a little slower. I mean, overall it is slightly slower than a regular T-34, but it's starting it seems to be even more dramatically slower. We are set up. Seeing something coming on the mini map. T-34. Oh! Dang it. That fire trailing. Got him. M4 coming. Got him. That was a much better shot than my first one. 
Okay. Looks like nobody else is pushing down this way. So I'm going to reposition and see if I can cover these vehicles that are going to be heading up toward the overwatch of A. So I'm going to come around the back side of this little mountain or hill or whatever you want to call it. person going to come down through here? No. Maybe. Can't tell which way he's going. Ooh. That thing's dangerous. Ah. Got him. Dang it! Got my turret crew. A little more armor on this turret would have been nice, STZ factory. Well, let's take out this air battle. Well, hopefully I won't get bombed. I won't see any bombs. Okay, we got six bombs. Looks like a bunch of tank destroyers over in this area right here. So, let's let a few of these bombs go. Here's a 105. They can be quite tough. All right. Woo! Four. All right. We're going to move. go give some backup to these other cap points. Oh, M10. Alright, damage this turret crew. Ah, got him. M to three, where's that M10? Drop party. Somebody's trying to sneak around behind me. Just caught him on the minimap for a second. Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Got him. Gun. Drop some arty. Let's see. I think he's going to shoot that mortar first. Oh, did the mortar get him? Nope. Oh, no, we didn't get him. Got that guy. 
Now let's come up. Little stug. Aiming at me. Gotta move. Gotta move. And stug is gonna take me out. Dang it! Got him. Alright, Stug's trying to come around on me. I guess. I don't know if it's a Stug. Oh! No, oh, there's the Stug. What's up here? Got the Stug. What is up here? An M10. Slow turret rotation got him. Who's shooting me? Enzer 3. Trying to angle a little bit. Got him. Where are these two guys on the mini map gonna come out at? Drop some party. Are they not going to come out? Oh, there's one. Got him. Alright. Move. We're going to go and confront this guy. Oh, they got him. Okay. This guy. Got him. I think we got this game under control. I do not think there's anyone else to shoot at. Alrighty. Here we go. Woo! 18! Let's get that reward. Alright. Base Defender. Ground Force Rescuer. Multi Strike. Triple Strike. Ground Multi Strike. Avenger. Multi Strike. Shadow Strike Streak. Multi-strike, adamant, tank rescuer, without a miss, professional, final blow, survivor, heavy metal hero, best squad, and balancer. First place in the team, 18 ground units destroyed, 95% battle activity, player statistics, Alrighty. I'm happy with that. Okay. Alright, we have picked up Golden Quarry. We are on the eastern side of the map. And you know, I'm gonna head down to the southern border. And hang out around what is it G4 
actually, I think it's more G5, but in that area, bottom center of the map. Cut through here, some little rough terrain. Trying to get over here and get in position. See if we can make it up this hill. There we go. Oh. We got guys encroaching on that C point already. Hard to see in there. There's somebody right there. Oh, dang it. Missed that dude. Panzer IV, gonna come through. Oh, yes! That was such a lucky shot. There we go. Just kind of guessing through those spots there. It's kind of hard to get aimed in. On these guys through that debris. So Panzer IV is going to come out right here. Oh, and I'm totally missed him. Totally missed him. And again. Good gracious. Oh, can't shoot through that. Oh, we got two guys. Two guys flanking me. Let's try this. Commander Cupola and nothing. Come on. Oh, the Stug is trying to get a shot on me. Let's get behind this track hoe or excavator. Oh, that's no good. Somebody coming up behind me too, but got a friendly back there. Still, still no go on the Stug. Oh. Oh shoot, T-34 first, nothing. Okay, get out of the line of fire from him. Got him, here comes the T-34. Wiggle the turret, wiggle, wiggle. Right there. Got him. All right. Oh no, let's see if we can get this guy right through this spot here. Yes! Oh shoot. Woo! I don't know why that Chaffee did not just obliterate me. Stug. Yes! Okay. What is that over there beside this building? I can't really see them. Let's try to reposition here. No, we got somebody coming up the road. So. Somebody coming up the road. Oh, oh, he's coming this way. He's coming this way. Where is he going? Oh, there he is. Sorry. Yeah, he's sneaking up on me. Okay. Enemy has one cap. They're losing a cap, and we're losing a cap. 
take out this bombing run where we're going to come over here and try to find a place to hide. Nine bombs. Oh shoot. You guys are on me. I got no control. Just gonna let these things fly. Shoot, man. I'd be lucky if I get anything out of that. Those were just released toward the center of the map because I didn't really see any of my guys over there, so I had no control. All right. Okay. Got him. He should be coming toward this cap point. There he is. I totally missed him. Come on. Somebody else got him. Okay. Let me drop some party. But, uh, I think we need this cap point. So we're going to come over. See if we can get it. Let's hide right here behind this little tank. These guys are pretty entrenched in the middle. We have a heavy tank over at A and we are losing the A cap. We got a one-on-one -on -one battle down in the southern part of the map and bombs just came in. So we need to move. Hopefully those won't kill us. All right, we got some reinforcements coming over here. Oh, I totally missed that shot. Okay, Panzer 4G. He got killed. I got that guy there. All right, looks like the C-cap is secure for a moment. Somebody. Over here, we're gonna come through. No, 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 he's coming this way. He's coming this way. I think. Go, 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 T-34. Go, go, Gadget. Dang it. Okay, well, somebody else got him. Let's take out this air battle. Am I stuck? Okay. Let's take out this air battle. Try to find a place to hide. And again, these guys are coming up, defending these air battles really good. So we are just going to drop these. Let's try to get this TD. Looks like he killed me in the last air battle. <laughs> All right, they've got two cap points. We've got one. We do have somebody on the B taking that. That's good. I'll work my way to the northern. Oh, hold on. I see a guy over here. Oh, 
it's a T-34. It always makes me nervous going up against other T-34s because my shot placement is not the best, but I did get his gunner, so let's see. Got him. Oh no, they're taking the B cap back. They've got A, they're taking B. They've got at least two guys on B. I've got a third guy coming. I do not want to come the same direction that my friendly already is because they'll be facing that way. Oh, the Cromwell just went right in front of my shot there. All right, we got that guy. I'll start pulling up. Oh, we're about to lose this thing. Got him. Oh no. We stopped the cap though. Got a critical hit on him. Might as well turn around and need to go the other way anyway. Here we go. Alright. I'm not going to stay and cap this. I'm going to go and decap A. I got one more player and he's down there in the middle of the map. Hopefully he's guarding C if anybody comes that way. If I can decap A then we'll be the only ones getting points. Okay, I'm going to try to cap this one. Oh, see an enemy. Oh, let's see. I'm guessing. Drop some arty. They're recapping B. I don't have time for an air battle right now. I need some help. Oh, he got my turret ring. I cannot turn my turret, so... Got him. I don't have time to fix the turret ring right this second. Here we go. They're decapping C. Little help, guy. Little help. We're just going to decap B and head to C. I'm going to go around this way. Got that guy. this guy to cap C and I'm gonna head back oh that's it we made it wow 
Ooh. That was close. All right, adamant. Multi strike. Triple strike. Avenger. Shadow strike streak. Without a miss. Base capture. Tank rescuer. Professional. The final blow. Survivor. And heavy metal hero. Whew! First place in the team. 20, 20 ground kills, 99% activity. Player statistics. Okay. Well. I think that this is a game worthy of calling it quits on. I really hope that you have enjoyed this game as much as I did. Alrighty, the T-34 STZ. I think that was a good enough game to call it quits on. Um, if you've liked this look at the T-34, hit that like button. If you didn't, you can hit the like button because this is my last video. Either way, let's see how many likes we can get on this last video. I want to take this time to thank all of my subscribers and viewers for your support over these 10 years. If you are one of my Patreon supporters, I cannot thank you enough for the support that you have given me. Please remember to cancel your Patreon donations so that I don't have to close my Patreon account. And to all my subscribers and everyone watching, I'm not going to say that the channel is closed forever. You never know what the future will bring. But what I will say is thank you so much for the 10 years of views and comments from around the world. You don't know how much it's meant to me. I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong But life can be furious and things can go wrong You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow But who knows, who knows, if we get joy or sorrow Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul. Don't drench your desire in what you can't control. We fly, we fly, try so hard together. And we might, we might be lost but not forever. There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end Don't wish for indifference, you're not one of those We fall, we fall, but we always rise up through it all, it all We get a little wiser There's things in life you simply need to know Sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end The end, the end And if you ever wonder There is nothing wrong with a little thunder There's things in life you 
you simply need to know about sun and rain and trust in letting go. It takes a bit of suffering, sleepless nights and wandering before you make it safely to the end. The end. There's things in life you simply need to know about sun and rain and trust in letting go. It takes a bit of suffering, sleepless nights and wandering before you make it safely to the end. Before you make it safely to the end, the end.